Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a reading vlog for Nora Roberts. So I feel like a couple of months ago I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram to give me your Nora Roberts recommendations because I have never read any of her books before. I really wanted to read some of her books and I had no idea where to start so I really appreciate you guys giving me your recommendations and I have four. She is definitely one of the queens of romance and I feel like she's such a household name. I, everybody knows who Nora Roberts is. And for some reason, I have just never picked up any of her books, but today that is changing. I have, as I said, four books that I hope to read for this entire vlog. I will be talking about all of my thoughts and my feelings and just vlogging the whole experience as well as giving you guys some reviews on these books. So from your guys' recommendations and the ones that I'm most interested in, I have Vision in White, which is book one one in the Bride Quartet. I also have Dance Upon the Air. This is book one in the Three Sisters Island Trilogy. The Next Always, which is book one in the In Boonesboro, Boonesboro Trilogy. And then the final one is Naked in Death, which is actually her pen name. JD Robb is her pen name and I think she mainly writes this series under that name or a lot of more mystery suspense romances I think. These are the four that I have. I am definitely going to read Naked and Death and then I think I'm also definitely going to read Vision in White and out of these two I'm not sure yet. I will see how these two go first and then I'll probably decide if I want to read both of them or if I just want to read another one. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, if you have any other recommendations for Nora Roberts, please leave them down below. I feel like she has so many books and it's so hard to figure out where to start or like which ones I would actually enjoy. So please leave your other recommendations down below because I do feel like I will enjoy these and I'm probably going to end up wanting to read more of her books. So if you have actually read Nora Roberts, which one of hers is your favorite. Like not out of these, I just mean in general, which one have you really loved by her? So yeah, as I said, this will be a reading vlog. However, I'm not going to insert life related things in this one. I do consider this vlog more of a challenge and just more of a specific video. So I won't have any life updates or like what I'm doing today. It'll just be me reading these books, giving you my thoughts and my review. I guess that is it for this intro. Let's start the vlog. I am going to start one of these right now. I think I'm going to start Vision in White first. I want to read more of just like a straight up contemporary first. So I will start with this one and then I'm definitely going to go in and read Naked and Death, which I am probably the most excited to read because I have heard nothing but good things about this book, but also this series. Fun fact, I have no idea what any of these books are. I have read summaries of them before, like a while ago. I forget, and I like to go into books knowing very little. This one I do know is like a mystery suspense, I think, and it follows like a detective and a criminal who fall in love, I do believe. But that's all I know about any of these books. I'm gonna go ahead and start this one. On the back it just says, a novel of love, friendship, and family, and the unpredictable moments that turn a pretty picture into a true work of art. It sounds like a very cozy, heartwarming contemporary, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. I'm a little nervous because I am not huge on third person novels. I find it extremely hard to connect to characters in that way. But obviously I want to give Nora Roberts a try and I am curious to see if I would enjoy any of her books. So I mean that's the whole point of this video. I'm gonna go start this and kind of see how I feel about it. I'm sure I will have plenty to say in a little bit. So I feel like it's been probably an hour or a little under an hour and I am at chapter six. I'm 80 pages into Vision in White and I'm liking it. I think it's really cute so far. I really love the female character and I love the whole business that she has with her friends. I think that's really cool. I am also liking the male character. He's a little geeky and shy 
and yeah so far I'm liking it I'm also enjoying the writing I definitely will finish this tonight I'm also hoping to start and finish naked in death tonight as well we'll see how tired I get I had a very early morning so I'm quite sleepy already. So far, I'm really enjoying it, and I think it's a really fun contemporary romance. I finished Vision in White, and I really liked it. It was really fun, it was really cute, and very sweet. I did tear up a couple of moments. Overall, it was a really good book. I don't really know what I'm gonna read it yet. I kind of want to read it a four star, but then I also am thinking about, am I going to remember it? In a year. I will, I will decide my reading at a later time. So this follows our female character who is a photographer and she works with her three best friends and they have like this wedding company business called Vows I think or Vow and they basically like set up weddings and engagements and all that jazz and our female character is the photographer and Mackenzie the female character ends up falling in love with Carter who used to have a major crush on her in high school and he is now a teacher he is very smart uh, very nerdy definitely not really Mackenzie's type but they end up falling in love and it's really cute I really loved Carter he was very sweet I loved his family and I also really loved all the female characters in here. They were all really different. At some point, I do see myself continuing the series and reading about the other women because I did find them quite fascinating and I would like to see who they end up with. There was one part in here that really made me cry. It's when Parker goes to talk to Carter about Mackenzie and they kind of have like this honest conversation and at the end of the conversation and on page 215 when Carter says I've been waiting for her most of my life I can't give up on her I cried I was like oh, he is so sweet he is so sweet maybe I should give it four stars I don't know I'm gonna think about it but I definitely liked this one for sure. Now I'm gonna start Naked in Death, which I'm very excited about. I can't wait to dive into this one. I know it's a little bit of a darker read, but before I start this, I think I'm gonna pick which one I'm gonna read tomorrow. So I don't think I'm gonna read both of these tomorrow. I am just gonna pick one, just because I'm not in the greatest mood to read right now. And so I don't really want to force myself, essentially. So I'm going to end up only reading one of these. And I think I'm actually going to ask you guys on Instagram to vote which one. I think I'm going to put like a poll up and you guys can vote for which one of these I should read. I mean, eventually I will obviously read the other one that doesn't get picked, but I just won't read it for this vlog. I feel like that's going to be really fun. So I'm actually going to post it right now so that it has all overnight to be voted on and then that way in the morning I can go ahead and just start whichever one gets voted the most. I'm gonna go ahead and do the poll and then I will probably go start this right away. I'm currently 161 pages into Naked in Death and I am loving it. It is so good. I've been having a really hard time reading recently. I definitely knew I had to like kind of mix it up and try something else and I'm loving this. This is so good. It's definitely going to be like a four star read. I've seen reviews about this series before this first book. A lot of people had said it was very like a slow burn romance. I thought they meant like through the whole series it's very slow burn and so I just thought like the romance wouldn't really go that far in this first book but like it is and I'm so happy I'm so happy that there's like a very prominent romance in here and also like a mystery element and I am loving this I love Eve I think she is a very very interesting female character I am definitely going to continue the series at some point I cannot wait to learn more about her and I love Rourke. He is also a very fascinating man. I can't wait to learn more about them, but also about the mystery and the murder happening. Oh, and actually, let me see what so far has been voted the most 
for what I should read. I put up this Insta story about three hours ago. 62% voted for The Next Always and 38% voted for Dance Upon the Air. So I will probably end up reading this one, which I'm actually happy about because it's a little bit shorter than Dance Upon the Air. Yeah, that was actually really fun to be able to put up a story that you guys could pick which one I would read. I'm probably going to go in my actual bed and wind down and finish this. It'll probably be really late by the time I finish this, so I'll probably just have an update in the morning and then I will end up starting this one in the morning. Last night I finished Naked in Death and I loved it. It was so good. I loved the characters, I loved the romance, the plot was really interesting and captivating and I just wanted to keep reading. Eve is such a strong character and I really felt for her and she was so badass and I loved Rourke. He was very mysterious. He's still very mysterious. There wasn't one thing about this book that I didn't like. I do feel like the mystery element was a little predictable. I could see kind of what was coming a little bit. I feel like that would be my only critique really. I now understand why so many people love this series and will read all of what how many books are in this series like over 30. Also this was published in 95 I do believe. Wasn't there like timelines of like 2023 or something? I was a little confused because I was like why is this book set in a futuristic setting? Also kind of like the electronic and like the way that they do things was kind of interesting too. I just really loved this and I'm probably gonna end up buying the second book in a couple of days. <laughs> Did I say what I'm reading this? I'm giving it four stars. It's a very solid romance suspense. Really loved it, obviously. I can't stop talking about it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start the next always. Thank you so much for voting on Instagram, by the way. I really appreciate it. All I know about this is that I think it follows a like Airbnb or an inn, I guess. It's all I know, but I'm gonna go ahead and start it. I am currently halfway through the next always and I'm really enjoying it. It's very cute. It's very sweet. I like the whole concept of this book and the whole renovation of the inn. I also just realized I did not say what Naked and Death is about. I'll talk about that in a moment. This falls Beckett who along with his brothers are renovating an inn and they are going to make it like this glorious, beautiful inn slash getaway. Beckett ends up falling in love with Claire who he knew back in high school and he had a huge crush on her and she's now a single mom to three boys and she also runs the local bookstore in the town and it's just really cute. I'm really liking it. Sorry, my camera died. But I love the whole family dynamics in this book, Beckett's family, and then I also love Claire's little family. Her boys are really cute. I do feel like it's probably going to be another three-star read just because I'm not fully attached to the characters. I just think like it's a really sweet read, but I don't know. I'm not completely attached to everything. Same with obviously Vision in White. I think I'm liking this a little bit more than Vision in White though, but I'm probably going to end up rating them both three stars. Anyways, I wanted to explain what Naked in Death is about because I never fully said what it was. This is a romance suspense. It follows our lieutenant Eve Dallas who is trying to solve this murder of this young, I forget what the official word is, but basically she's like a prostitute and she was murdered and she's trying to figure out who, what, when, where, and why. The girl who was murdered is also the granddaughter of the senator, so there's a lot of politics and attention on this case and Eve is kind of still dealing with a past case that she had a couple of weeks ago. And in this current investigation, she meets Rourke, who is a suspect, and she slowly starts having feelings for him, 
and they kind of slowly fall in love but obviously it could wreck her career because he's technically a suspect very very good i really loved it and i feel like i've talked a lot about this already but yeah and i think i'm going to go ahead and finish the next always now i just finished the next always and i really liked it it was very cute very sweet a heartwarming read with a little bit of a supernatural twist kind of I liked the characters, I liked the romance. I feel like I don't have much to say about it yet because I literally just finished it. I would say I think I liked this one more than Vision in White just because I did like the kids aspect. I thought they were really cute. There's something about kids in fiction that I really like when it comes to romance novels. They just like add a little bit more of adorableness and like innocence to the story. I don't know. The last couple pages were so cute. Oh, I loved that. Beckett talked to Harry. That was so cute. I loved that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to sit on it a little bit more and I'm sure I will have more thoughts about all of these books later. I'm now going to wrap up this vlog and wrap up all of my thoughts about these books. I feel like this vlog isn't the greatest to be honest. I feel like I didn't really give a lot of thoughts and I don't feel like I really went into detail about a lot of things. I tried to make this vlog a little bit spoiler free. I don't like to fully talk about the books. What if you guys haven't read them and like what if you want to read them and then I just kind of spoiled everything. So I tried not to go super in depth but then I also feel like kind of what's the point of this vlog if I don't? I don't know. I had a blast reading these books and I found like a new favorite book, a new series I want to keep reading. I finally read Nora Roberts, which I'm very happy about and I can see why people love her books. I can see why she's so popular. I can see why she's so successful because even though these were a little bit more mediocre for me. I still liked them. I still liked the writing and the characters. I think they were great books in general. Obviously, this one was my favorite. Give it four stars. I just really loved Eve and Rourke, and I cannot wait to continue this series. I'm very excited. The next always, I'm giving three stars. It was very cute, very sweet, very heartwarming. I forgot to say that there is a room in here, like in the inn, that is inspired by Evan Rourke, and I thought that was so cool. I was like, oh my god, there's like little ties in here. Very cute. I definitely liked the characters, and I do see myself at some point reading about the other brothers, because... I definitely liked their family and stuff. And then Vision in White, I am also giving three stars. I liked all the female characters and I thought the male interest was very sweet, definitely very different from a lot of other romances I read. I'm not racing to go pick it up, but I could see myself eventually reading the whole series. I also really just enjoy the romances in these books. I think Nora Roberts writes very strong and good romances. You know, like even though I didn't love these two as much as Naked and Death, I still liked the romance aspects and I feel like they were really well done. And each of these books were similar in ways, but also yet so different, specifically like these two. Like yes, they were both contemporaries, but they were still different. And like I didn't feel like the characters were similar or that it was kind of the same thing. You know how some authors you can read and you feel like they just write the same thing over and over again? I don't feel like that was the case in these ones that I read anyways. Obviously, I feel like this one is so different that it's hard to compare, but I definitely see myself reading more Nora Roberts in the future for sure. I think that's kind of it. I feel like I really just didn't give a lot of details for this video. I'm so sorry, but I don't really feel like I have much to say other than they were good and I now understand and I now get it. Let me know if you have read any of these and what your thoughts are on them. And if you have any other recommendations, please let me know. That is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even if it wasn't the best. Thanks for watching anyways. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!